Hello, welcome to today's class on C static libraries. Okay, um, I want to thank all those who have subscribed. If you have not subscribed yet, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for you to receive fresh content every time we create new videos. Okay, today we are going to talk about C static library. So what is C static library? In, in, in C programming, a static library is a collection of objects, files, that are combined into single files, right? This file can then be linked with an object, or it can be linked with other object, other object file to create an executable program. A static library is often referred to as a .a file. As this is the typical file extension used for such library on the Unix-like system. Static library are created using the, the AR, which is archive, right? Archive utility, which combine the object file into a single file and add some metadata to facilitate linking, okay? One advantage of this Static library is that they are self-contained and do not require any additional files to, the, to be present at runtime. This can be useful for distributing programs as it makes it easier and ensure that all necessary components are included. Although there are some setbacks, like it is it makes the executable, uh, executable file increase in size, which is one of the, the setback, okay? So let us just, you, I, will, I will drop the, the link of this uh, text to, so that you can read it and prepare for your, uh, answer your question. And also I want to encourage you to download it and keep, study it for your evaluation and for future purpose, okay? Thank you very much. So let's go to the tax, to the quiz tax. Say, what is the format of a static library? If you remember, as I was explaining it, I said they, they use what? They are created using what? ARO, which is what? ARO means what? Archive. Okay. So the static, so the static, uh, the, the static uh, format for, for, um, for what they call it, for, 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 for standard, st static library is archive. Okay, before then I will quickly drop some list of, I will quickly explain some list of, I will drop the list there where you can see them in the, in the text. So you can remember I said it's archive, right? So that means our, if, if you're answering your question, you can see that the archive, they are all formatted in, for, in such a way that it's archive, okay? Okay, so that's that. Okay, so now uh, the next question says, um, what is the, what command is, what command in C can be used to list the symbol stored in static library? Okay, one way, one way in which we want to, in one way we can list symbols stored in a static library is to use the NM. N for name, M for mango, so NM, N, N, NM command. This command can be used to list the symbols, e.g., for example, function uh, names, okay, defined in an object file or library. For example, to list the, the symbol in a static library, you can call it libfoo. Dot a okay that uh, uh, libfoo dot a can be used to command to to name the command so for example now you, you can you can say um, okay I, I can't write on my screen now I can't really write on my screen but I will drop the text so that you can read it for your own consumption okay so the n m is should be the right right Right, and if you see, don't be yeah, this, draw, draw, this just came to my uh, attention that whenever you see this square box, 
it means they say you should list, right? When they say you should list, it means that it is not only one. You will list more than one, okay? So which other one again that can we use? Okay, which other list again? Just list from this answer here. You will have to check them. You check it out and so you can remember this anytime you see sorry anytime you see this check box you know that it's a trap it's one more than one question but none of these answer here none of these none of this is part of the answer okay none of them none of them none of them at all none of them is part of the answer so i think it's just a, it's a trap for us none of that those commands is, is listed among the typical use of the list of symbols stored okay so um you may be trying you may be trapped trying to well i may be wrong but that is what i have i have, I have understood i have understand so now the next question is uh, what is the point of using this run lab uh, the, the, uh, the the essence of using the Run library is um, uh, the, the the run library command is used to generate an index of a static library. Remember the keyword there is the index. Okay, the keyword there is the index. So this index is stable. This index is a table of symbols that are defined in the library along with uh, along with the offset of the corresponding object. And the object files within the library. Okay, the purpose of this index is to allow the linker to to more quickly locate the object. Okay, within the library that contain the definition of the of the, of a particular symbol. When a program is linked against a static library, the linker needs to search through the library to find the object files that define the symbols needed to uh, needed for, uh, by the program. So an index can make this process faster as it allows the linker to get direct access to the object file, okay? Without uh, scanning through all the whole file, you just like, when you say index, that means you have arranged it in a name, okay? They are in a list, in, in, in a format that can just go through, okay, just query and get it. So that is the, the word there. So I remember index is the keyword. Now you now see here indexing, sorry, indexing and archive. Remember, indexing and archive. So what is an archive? Remember, an archive is the format which uh, static library is being created. Okay. So now indexing the static file. So that is that. And what command is used to create a static library from object file? Okay, so you can see um, from all what we've read, you can see that to create that static file, there is something I read in the, in the beginning that you will see something like a arrow, right? You see something like a arrow, and that a arrow stands for what? It stands for archive, right? So, um, okay. So that is time for archive, and that command is typically used to create a static library from object files in C. Okay, so what is the what is used to create a static library uh, from object files? To create a static library from object file in C, we use the A arrow. Okay, so to create the static file, we can use any word that has the that end the extension of dot A. Which remember I told you from the beginning that dot a is uh, the extension for the static file. Okay, I hope this is able to uh, help you. So I will drop a link for the text so you can read it to get more understanding about this. I hope this answer is correct. So we will check and get back. Okay, I like I, I like I expected this part. Okay, so. Uh, Normally, this particular section here, this particular section, the two and the two possible answer that you're supposed to get is the object object DOM, and the object DOM is not here. The object DOM is not here. So 
we need to try you can see that this is you can see oh fantastic fantastic so that question i don't know how that question was able to go through but no problem i've also learned so um, i'm not editing it anything i'm leaving everything like that for your consumption so that everybody will understand we are all students that we are learning so uh, thank you very much and have a blessed day